So if you think preparations for Halloween are getting earlier and earlier every year, you might not be alone. Bria Hollingsworth has reports from Spirit Halloween in Raleigh where they started getting ready for Halloween in July. <laughs> Inside Spirit Halloween's Glenwood Avenue store in Raleigh, you'll find all kinds of spooky costumes, masks, and more. It's your managers Emery Jetton and Alicia Byers' favorite time of the year. Everyone loves Halloween. They're excited <laughs> for it to start happening. Um, I mean, I keep up Halloween decorations around my house year-round, so this is uh, prime time for me to go shopping. The store is known for setting up shop in empty stores and warehouses every year just for spooky season. Byers says this year they opened at the end of July to prepare for the Halloween crowd a little earlier than usual. Last year we opened like the first week of August. We were ready, so we wanted to just get, get started. And get into the Halloween spirit. While this year's numbers aren't out yet, last year the National Retail Federation predicted a record $10.6 billion in spending for Halloween. The managers say they expect to see a lot of shoppers in store this year. I feel like Halloween's so exciting because it has something for both kids and adults. With uh, kids, you have the costumes, the candy and everything of it. Um, and with adults, it's become synonymous with horror and like horror movies. So there's something in it for everyone. Well, here in East Texas, I found another questionable holiday expansion. The classic Easter candy peeps have expanded beyond their Easter holiday season into the Halloween realm. Now, listen, me, I am a huge fan of peeps, so I'm happy about them being available on the opposite side of the calendar from their native habitat. But I felt in order for me to properly report on this new evil incarnation for you, more scientific research was imperative. So. I bought both of them. I found them at Dollar General and I got the pumpkin ones and I got the ghost ones and I tested it out. And, you know, because I'm a scientist adhering to the scientific method, I used several other candy experts, my kiddos, to see if my results could be replicated and therefore confirmed. And after me and my assistant researchers ate all of them, uh, shockingly quickly, we all confirmed the original hypothesis Halloween peeps are delicious, but tasting good isn't the only factor. What about the people who think holidays all need to stay in their own lane? You know, there's people who complain about Christmas decorations before Thanksgiving. There's people who complain about the Spirit Halloween store popping up before Labor Day. And then there's also people who think Halloween peeps are a vulgar appropriation. These people need to calm down. If you're a believer in strong boundaries between holidays, I think your best argument is that extending peeps outside of their Easter makes them less special. Maybe, but we're not talking about marshmallow bunnies in the fall. So you critics of the marshmallow pumpkins and ghosts, you got nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. If you don't like Halloween peeps, fine. Don't buy them. But if you're a critic, I don't want to hear a peep. Ooh, sorry about that.